It's been a week since I didn't have fried chicken, like I promised you guys. <laughs> I want to shout out this viewer right here. This inside of you right here, the name's viewer too. <laughs> he or she says, hey Kwan, do you want to know the KFC secret recipe? I want to see you replicate it. Here's the secret recipe. When I looked at this, guys, I'm confused on where the flour measurements are. So we got to redo this recipe. I want to say thank you to viewer who sent me this, the 11 secret ingredients for KFC chicken. But I want to say this, the tablespoons and the half tablespoons of this does not really matter just because there's no flour measurements to this. So we have to figure out the flour measurements and pair these all ingredients to the flour. So, let's make our twist on it. Morning to you! <laughs> Come here. Come say good morning. I'm just writing up a recipe right now. Just writing up a recipe right now. Are you ready to cook, kitty? Yeah, you're up and early ready to cook, huh, kitty? You have to make some noise while I'm making a recipe right now, kitty? You just wanted the air time? Huh? Hi, little brat. You little brat. Let me show you how easy it is to make my twist, my take, copycat of KFC fried chicken. The best KFC copycat twist take on KFC fried chicken. Don't blink. All right, let's, ay, did I knock you guys? Apologize guys, so eight pieces of chicken here, dark meat. We're gonna do one tablespoon of this. Take your beautiful clean hand. Get right into it guys. Get into every little crack of this, all right? Every single crack of this. Once you got that nice and covered, I'm just gonna throw this to the side. First coating of the chicken, plain white flour. Got a white coating, so three eggs. One can of club soda. I trigger people when I do this. I don't know why. I just need it out fast. Quick time, guys, come on. <laughs> to this, half tablespoon of salt. One cup of flour. Beat that in. Once you get this nice and beaded, put to the side. The main event, the seasoning flour. So three cups of flour. To this, half tablespoon of ground thyme, half tablespoon of dry mustard, quarter tablespoon of dry basil, two tablespoon of paprika. That's all my paprika. I love paprika. I actually have smoked paprika here. Two tablespoon of white pepper, half tablespoon of ground ginger, one tablespoon of celery salt, one tablespoon of garlic salt, and one tablespoon of just regular salt. Quarter tablespoon of oregano. Last but not least, one tablespoon of black pepper. Nothing to it now, take that whisk. Whisk all that in very well. Once you got that nice and whisk, time to fry. So this is how you set the perfect frying oil. So I got vegetable oil here, heating up at a four, or if you guys don't have these dials here, a four is a medium heat. We're just gonna let that go for about 20 minutes, guys, before we start frying. 20 minutes up, all you're gonna do now, take a chopstick or a wooden spoon, stick it in. If it starts bubbling up like that, guys, the oil's ready. So all we're gonna do, take our drums first, into plain white flour, plain white flour, shake off any excess into our egg batter or egg wash. Shake off any excess, guys, into our seasoning flour. Into our seasoning flour, and we're just gonna pack it in. Pack it in very well. Nothing to it now, shake off any excess into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. Cooking time 15 to 16 minutes. Another thing guys, if you guys are frying fried chicken at home, do not overfill your pot or pan just because if you do overfill, the oil will drop its heat and mess up the whole technique of frying good fried chicken. So to this big pot here, I have roughly around four pieces. Five pieces is pushing it. Three to four pieces is enough. 15 minutes up. Hold up your fried chicken. So beautiful. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna strain all these bits and pieces out of the oil here. You have to strain all the bits and pieces out of the oil. If you don't, your second batch of fried chicken, it's gonna burn. Or these pieces gonna stick to your fried chicken and burn. Don't believe me? Leave it in then. <laughs> now nah, guys, don't leave it in, all right? Take it out. Next thing, thighs. Thighs take about 18 to 20 minutes. The bigger it is, the longer it sits in. So 20 minutes would be the biggest thighs you ever put in. So into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. All right guys, we're at this part of the video again where we just listen to that beautiful jazz music in the back and admire 
my fried chicken game. It's the most beautifulest fried chicken you guys will ever make at home. And save more money. Save more money and get more fried chicken. That's a win-win situation. The crispiest fried chicken you guys will ever bite into. I can't wait to bite into it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Still waiting on Chef Ramsay. I want everybody to go on my Instagram right now. Tag Chef Ramsay on this. Chef Ramsay. You're a cool guy, you're a cool chef, you're a great chef, but your fried chicken game is weak. <laughs> 18 minutes up, pour your thighs. Once you got it nice and fried, just throw it onto your plate. There it is, my take on crispy KFC secret recipe. Real question now, when are you guys gonna come by and grab some? Quick time guys, I'm pumped just to try this. Let's get into this. Let's do this, I'm pumped for this. Does this secret reveal KFC recipe taste like KFC? Well, it's my little twist and take on it just because uh, I think it was Viewer, viewer who sent me the secret ingredient did not add the flour intake on this. So I had to switch it up a bit just to fit with my flour intake, guys. Take the first bite of this. KFC secret <laughs> recipe. My twist and take on it. Quick time. Let's go. Nice. I'm pumped for this. It kind of does smell like KFC. I'm pumped for this. That's bombs. This, my friend, is bombs. The saltiness of this is very similar to KFC. This is so bombs. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how KFC tastes like <laughs> Wow. That's some bomb chicken right there. The taste, does it taste like KFC fried chicken? I gotta have another bite. I love fried chicken. <laughs> wow. I want to say it does but it doesn't at the same time. But a little more tweak of this recipe, maybe add a little more and take a little more out and change a little ingredients here and there just because the basil I threw in 
kind of have this burnt taste to this. So the next time when I use basil, I'm gonna use powder basil so it does not burn. But overall, this is a bomb's chicken. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This right here, guys. So bombs. <laughs> The way and technique I use to cook my fried chicken can't be touched, guys. The seasoning can be changed, but the technique, like I said, guys, can't be touched. Guys, I'll bite of that. Quick time. Nice. It's perfect. Wow. Perfectly cooked fried chicken. What do you guys think? <laughs> like I said again, Chef Ramsay cannot touch my fried chicken game. Mm hmm. This is too good. <laughs> I recommend you guys do not eat as much as I do. Just because the salt content is pretty high. Last one. The side chicken ass right there. Guys, here it is. Quick tab. Nice. Super pop. Wow. Just amazing. Let's do this. Couple sips of this Gatorade before I go work out. Gotta fuel yourself up before you guys work out. Let's got it. Nice. Delicious orange flavor. <laughs> this is my pre-workout. Well, the meal was my pre-workout. This is just to wash it down. Time to pop through some questions, then we're going to end this day. How do you feel about Southern Macaroni Cheese from Trippin' Fallen? I think it's delicious. <laughs> Quan, are you cutting notification gang uh, from Shizzy89? No, I'm not. I'm maintaining weight right now. Out of every food that you've made so far, what's your favorite tasting or making? Also, keep on the great work. I'm pumped from TN. Win fit. I don't, I don't have, I don't have a favorite. I'll say all of it is my favorite. I love food. I can make bomb ass uh, egg tarts. Will you marry? <laughs> Will you marry me? Uh, what do you do with the leftover from Catherine? Catherine, let me see your egg tarts. <laughs> Quan Tran, today is my birthday. I made 33 years old. Happy birthday, my friend. Is there an actual thought process going to your restaurant? If so, what are some of the items that would definitely be on the menu from Alpha Zero? Fried chicken. Expect some fried chicken. Guys, this is creepy. Look, low key. You guys see that? <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> How come you never have a friend in a video from Seds World? Yes, I have. I had a few episodes. The camping one, uh, the seafood boil one. I'll say this summer, guys, there's going to be more guest appearances. Juan, what's your zodiac sign from Blessed and Beautiful Heister? 
I actually don't know. I, I don't know how Zodiac sign works, so I'm not too sure. Describe your ideal vacation from Cindy B. My ideal vacation would be hiking somewhere and camping somewhere where I wake up and there's just a beautiful view and plenty of food, obviously. <laughs> when are you going to Vietnam to see your friend from Bubble Tea? <laughs> I want to say this summer. That's all for the questions today, guys. I will do my best to get it all done for this week. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your pop shirts or Food Life's Beautiful Thing shirt. Like this, share this. Peace out.